Hey everybody, today I'm going to be seeing if you can take the color out of Coke. So I'm going to be trying this two different ways. The first way I'm going to be trying it is similar to the way that I turned the strawberry white in a previous video. In that video, I showed you how color actually works. Color is actually the result of alternating double bonds in long molecules. And when you break up those alternating bonds, it's not able to absorb visible light anymore. And what you get instead is white or clear if it's in a liquid. And the molecule to do that is called hypochlorite, otherwise known as bleach. So I'm going to be pouring some bleach into a bottle of Coke and seeing if it just turns it clear or not. And then I'm going to be using a different method that actually ends up with something drinkable, trying to use activated carbon to take out the color in Coke and see if I can end up drinking it at the end. Okay, first let's pour our bleach in and see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! That is crazy. It's still fizzy even. <laughs> okay, let's see if this gets any clearer over time. I'll set up a time lapse and see if after a few hours it gets even clearer. Okay, so here's our final product after bleaching Coke. So now it's still fizzy, but it's just bleached. So this is something you definitely wouldn't want to drink at this point. <laughs> so it looks like it did leave it with kind of a yellowish color. We didn't get all the way clear like in, as in water. And like I said, this is definitely not drinkable, but is there a different way to take out the color without making it poisonous? Well, what if we can react it with a solid instead of a liquid? So a solid that actually absorbs the color molecules, doesn't just change them like bleach does. And one of these solids is activated carbon. So activated carbon is just charcoal that's very porous. And most any solid will absorb a tiny amount of any molecule that touches it onto the surface. But most things don't have a very big surface area, and so it can't absorb a lot of materials. But activated carbon is quite amazing. Per gram of activated carbon, it can have a surface area in excess of 500 to 3,000 meters squared. So what I want to do is use some activated carbon and see if I can take the color out of Coke and leave me with an end product that isn't poisonous. So I'm going to be using an activated carbon filter. These are similar to the ones that you put in your refrigerator to filter your water. So I'm going to run the Coke through the filter and see if I can end up with a clear Coke product at the end. And then I'm going to taste it and see if it still tastes like normal Coke. Okay, now let's see what happens when you put Coke through a filter. Did it make it any clearer? Looks like it's getting clearer. A little bit. Okay, let's compare our before and after. Okay, so it looks like we can make drinkable clear Coke. So why don't I try it and see what it tastes like. Okay, here we go. Huh, just tastes like sugar water. So it actually has no Coke flavor whatsoever. It's just sweet, that's it. So it looks like putting it through that filter absorbed not only the color molecules, but also the flavor molecules. So 
basically you end up with sweet water that's a little bit yellow. <laughs> but much better than drinking bleach coke. And I'd like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you haven't checked out Brilliant.org, I'll put a link in the description here. So Brilliant.org is a cool problem solving website that teaches you how to think like a scientist and a physicist. So you can dive in and solve easy to challenging problems in their guided sequences on their website. So to support the Action Lab, go to Brilliant.org slash the Action Lab to sign up for free. But if you'd like to sign up for their premium subscription, the first 200 people that click the link in my description will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So head over to brilliant.org slash the action lab. And also if you haven't subscribed to the action lab yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out. And if you haven't subscribed to the new action lab subscription box, head over to theactionlab.com to get yours today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.